Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We've been putting together this little one page scrolling site here. And we're working on the last section today. We left off with our contact form last time. Today we're going to make this live Google map right here. And as you can see, it's a regular Google map. It's live, so you can zoom in, zoom out. You can get directions and things like that for your business. Really easy to do. There's no API key involved in this today. This is our last section. Then we'll start putting together our menu so we can hook all these up. So let's go to where we left off. Here's our production site. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Here's our contact form. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Great. And let's zoom back down to where we want to work, which is right at the bottom. And I'm going to add a new section. So I'm going to click on the existing section, left click, hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section, could use a full width if you wanted to with this. I'm just going to use a regular section and we'll make it full width. That's a handy thing to do. Inside our section, I'm going to put a single column because I just want our map in there. I'm going to use a code module to do this. And here's our code module right here. Great. What I need to do now is get the actual code from the map. So if you go to Google, and simply type in maps, and then type in the address of your business. I haven't got a real address for this, so I'm going to use the Empire State Building. I've just put that in there. Zoom it in or out to where you want it. I think I'll zoom that out a little bit, perhaps something like that. When you're happy, you'll see a little share button right here. If you left click on the share button, it'll pop up this little window. We want to embed a map, so I'm going to click on embed map. And it's given us an iframe code here. You can hit the little button, just copy the HTML, or you can select and copy however you like to do it. So I've got that copied now. We can go back to our little code module. And I'm simply going to paste that code in there. Control V to paste. And as you can see, if I roll this up a little bit, it's pasted that map in there. And that's a nice live Google map. But of course, we want it full width and perhaps a little bit deeper or a little bit shallower, however you want yours. So let's make this full width. At the moment, it's taking up about 50% of our row. If we look at this code and don't get daunted by this, we just got to change a couple of things here. It's got a width of 600. So that's a width of 600 pixels there. I want it to stretch the whole of the width of the container it's in, which is the row column, which ends about here. So where it says 600 there, I'm going to select it, being careful not to cut off any of those little inverted commas there. I'm going to change that to 100%. And as you can see now, our map's filling our row there. Now, if you want it any deeper, it's 450 deep at the moment. You can make it deeper by giving it a larger value, let's say 600. Just put in the 600. You don't want to put a pixel value in there or anything like that. There it is, 600 deep. And obviously, if you want it shorter, make a smaller value. That's going to work for me. In fact, I quite liked it at 450 where it was. So I'm going to change that back to 450. And there we have it. Great. Well, what I want to do now is make it full width. So it stretches from one side of the screen to the other side. And that'll be on all devices. So let's save this now. What we want to do is go into our row and make it full width. If I hover over, there's a green line. That's our row and column right there. The blue one is the section. So I'm going to click anywhere in here. We'll go up to the green tab for the row. Hit the little cog. Go to the design there. And here we've got sizing. Where it says width, I'm going to slide that all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, Control C. I'm going to paste it down below in max width, Control V to paste. Or you can just type it in in max width if you want to. As you can see, we've now got a full width live Google map, which is great. But I've got a little bit too much space top and bottom. I want it a little closer to here and not so much gap there. Well, let's save our changes here. 
And what we need to do is get rid of padding on the section and the row. And you can either just select it, left click and pull it up like that. Same with the row if you want to, or you can just go into the row by clicking on it, going into the tab again, design. I'm gonna to go to spacing. I'm gonna put a zero in for both top and bottom padding there. Just hit the zero, it'll put the picks in. And we'll do the same for the bottom. And now we need to do exactly the same for the actual section, the blue tab this time. So I'm going to click anywhere in the field, go up to the blue tab, over to design again, spacing again, and padding top and bottom again. I'm going to put a zero in, hit the chain, and that's taken it away nicely. That's a lot closer for us at the top there. Now we can actually go into the module itself. Go into spacing. We can actually drag it down with a bit of negative margin if I roll that up a little bit. And I'm using the down arrow here, make it a negative value. And as you can see, it's tightening it up on the bottom there. Yeah, that's going to work for me. 25 pixels. And that's sitting nicely on our bottom bar there. Let's save our changes here and save our page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. Roll on down. And there's our live Google map. You can click on it, hold your control key down, zoom in, zoom out, view a larger map, get directions and things like that. Anything that you could do with a regular Google map. So there we have it guys, that's the last of our sections now. In our next video, I'm going to create this menu so we can hook all our sections up and link them. And we'll also do any buttons we've got up here, which we've got a few call to actions buttons up and down the page, we'll link those also. And then we'll finish off by doing the footer and we're all done. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel don't forget if you've got any questions put them down below the video and i'll do my best to answer them or make a video for you if i can once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day